assassin. And at first, I thought they were gonna, you know, take this to their grave, flex that Frederick until the very last minute. But no, Leo said, "Coach, look at me. I need the assassin." Yeah, I need the assassin. Goes with a high up, preferably. Preferably, I prefer the link because you got the global map presence. But I mean, as long as Leo is comfortable on this assassin, that's great. Now, your biggest target that you need to look out for is definitely that Eve. You want to try to land the shadow kills on top of the Eve, burst them down. But then, then again, there's also that tricky part, right? Joy can always take the aggression from the, the shadow kill and then run away with it. So that's why, the way that I'm looking at drafts right now, if you're picking up in the Hayabusa, what follow-up, what's the follow-up is going to be very important because you need someone to isolate absolutely anyone, right? Mm -hmm. So because, and you got to make sure that you get to dictate how people are isolating yourself because throughout this M4 World Championship, you can't really rely on your opponent to isolate themselves from their own teammates. So you need someone to force it out. Some, like, again, Akai is not good here, but I'm, I'm thinking of something like an Akai where you don't get to choose where you're going to be at, and then the Hayabusa could take control. So I'm looking at the draft. If they can pick anyone that isolates someone from our Kira, because you're seeing that the target is the Eve. How can you be sure the Eve will, will anyways be alone? It doesn't even have to be isolation in the fact of an ult, right? It doesn't even have to be the fact that I can, in, through my skills, do that. It can be just the nature of the hero. So I'm also looking at uh, possibly a Kufra. The Kufra is solid looking right now. Your team is I definitely agree, but it's going to be the Lunars being picked up by the side of Occupy Thrones. I feel like the Kufra should be there in game number one, but it got slipped away. But our Kirikira will confirm that Rudy for Gusta Lagusta. Now the question is, is that the Lunars gold lane? I think so. I, I personally yeah, think so. Yeah, it is. Because I don't, I don't think anywhere else she should be because the Valentina is definitely a way better mid laner and they're finishing off with the Hilda, so kind of isolated because you're pushing people away. Yeah, and you're going in the bushes before they yeah. do, so when they check in, oh, no, 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 not here, not here. So you scramble your opponents. Mm -hmm. I see the concept, and now as an overall draft, looking at Occupy Thrones, what they have brought to the table, it looks better, but if there is one thing I have to nitpick is the fact that they left Gado again in that very, very late game island. Yeah, very late game island. And looking at the draft coming in from RQ Akira, they're actually drafting in a way they could possibly end the game without even fighting because they can just push everyone away from neutral objectives and have Brody shredding on those turrets like no one's business. That's correct. Brody is a very heavy hard hitter. Yes, um, in my opinion, Brody is not really good at team fights, but when you have that Yeev to spread out this box, you have the threat of the Cho to come in and Jikundo. If you have the threat of the Lapu Lapu with the Ravius Warrior, the Brody could just free head and turret out of control. Let's see if the plans will come through for either of these teams because one of them's going home tonight. This is game two. It's match point for RRQ Akira going up against Occupy Thrones. Yeah, looking at this game right now, again, I want to see how both roamers are actually going to do their thing because as the Hilda right now, King is on the joy. I want to see if the Hilda is going to put a lot of pressure. Maro is here giving pressure but unable to really secure the buff. So right now, he's just going to run away. I mean, it's going to be King zipping, zapping around by Maro. Oh, oh wow. looking a little bit low. The region kicking in right here. Louis, the Jikundo doesn't connect for now. Maro will walk away, but King uses the Retry. Oh, difficult situation. I, I think RRQ Akira committed a little bit too much to trying to get Maro down. And I think that's mission accomplished. Uh, I think yep. Akira should be happy for that first minute. I agree. They really should be happy. So now, what's next? Because looking at how Maro is playing, slowing down Akira's, Akira's rotation is actually quite key. But then, what's next? They gotta wait for Leo on this Hayabusa to look at all the information that he has. Okay, Maru, where are they? Three people around the bottom side of the map. Okay, I'm gonna go top. I'm gonna secure a kill. Yeah, a lot of burst control right here. It's gonna be Maru diving all the way to the back line. King zipping, zapping around once again. No ultimate. I think they're just gonna touch and go. And this is something that RRQ Akira took advantage of in mm -hmm. game one, right? The fact that Occupy Thrones had no vision. They had to, again, just in the most savage way, check in with Maro's life on the line, but now Maro can just run away.
Yeah. Okay. Maro is is looking at a good situation, but mm -hmm. looking at both sides of of, of the map, I'm, I'm looking at EXP as well as Gold Lane. In terms of damage, I kind of feel like you got more damage around the Gold Lane. So I kind of feel like if they do want to dive, if they do want to get some kind of engagement, they gotta go there. But it looks like right now they're starting up a fight around Turtle. King is hovering around the turtle pit. Marrow opening it up. Lewis trying to scout around for pickups. If they have to let go of the turtle, it's going to be reset for now. Wow, the respect from both teams is like, okay, yeah, I understand what you're putting on the table, and I fear it, and I respect it, but who's going to pull the trigger first? King yeah. just working on this turtle. Still, Takashi jumps into the back line. Knocked up by Hulk. Oh, it's it started. Oh, he's going to be starting right now. The turtle will be slain by King. It's Takashi with the Burmese Warrior. Leo, nowhere to be, nowhere to be going. Hey. But oh, oh he's able to slip all the way. Leo, only one HP. Lewis has to burn the flicker at the same time. The kick going in as well. King is just wrecking havoc. Yeah, that I, I was surprised. I thought he died as well, yeah, but same. I guess. I guess he managed to use his ult on time to actually run away from the fight. But look at this, Occupy Drones, King is getting... Look at Maru, look oh, at Maru, yes! Maru's Maru. chasing, He's chasing. King is there, oh, and he got it. He will be traded by Sagan. I mean, <laughs> is this worth it? I think it is, honestly. <laughs> Anytime a roamer dies for a jungler and you're close to parity, keep doing it. <laughs> right now, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at the items, and again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay with my point. If they actually want to get kills, I kind of feel like this is weird, this is uncharacteristic, but they got to go towards the goal lane for both teams, I mean, because Brody, early game, actually has a lot of damage. In fact, look at this, Blade of Heptasis, he has the damage. So right now, both teams, Occupy Drones, I kind of feel like just go up in goal lane. But neither team are thinking that. Maro is pressuring uh, mid and bottom. I think it comes down to a turtle spawn, right? Like, mm -hmm. they, they still want to help build that up. And again, here you'll see how the timing, again, is, is so different for Occupy Thrones because they want to make sure Godway's ready, but wait, oh, they catch Maro. Oh, Maro, the kick going in as well, but it's a sideway kick. Look at the edge of the real one manipulation. Oh, oh. Oh. Maro, he walks away like a boss. I mean, I guess this is why Malaysia likes Hilda, because so annoying, you think you got the kill, but the moment there's a bush there, you kind of always forget how much healing you get from that. The level of knowing how to balance out the damage in, from, from the Maros Hilda is just way too crazy. And now Gallo building in with the clock. Let's take a look at the emblems. Yeah, looking at the emblems right now, it looks like Leo understands. For some reason, Hayabusa needs a little bit more damage, so he's sacrificing a little bit of his movement speed for the damage. And right now, Luis is going up against Maro, and it looks like Maro is winning the trade. Romer against Romer Violence. Again, uh, the fact that they're playing with a Lunox just shows that they're willing to make sacrifices, oh, and it's a full on engage. Shadow kill going in at the same time. Gustalo Gustalo has to run away now. Here come Ferrari 77. Real own run manipulation. Gustalo Gustalo just walking around, but will get shut down by Ferrari 77. Luis kick Mara all the way back to No Man's Land. Saiga will pick that up. It's a one for one trade. Again, Maro for anyone yeah. from RRQ Akira is a good trade, especially since Gado's not suffering just yet. Hey, they put an assist on that gold laner. And I just like looking at a fight around the gold lane, so now they're freeing things up mm -hmm. a little bit. Oh. Yuri says Evan got the yeah. purple? He protected the purple. Oh, wow. It's on him instead of King. So again, that's a check for Occupy Thrones in the mid game. Everything is going superbly well for Occupy Thrones in a very awkward way. RQ, Akira, I, I, I don't know. Everything is looking slightly okay for now in terms of goal lead, super even. Oh, you hear that? Conceal, Luis looking for an engage, but Mara spots him again. The vision game making the difference. Yeah, the Hilda is just so annoying to deal with. No wonder everybody hates her. Yeah, a lot of people hate her, and right now, looking at the items, we gotta look at the Eve, where the Brute Force Breastplate has been picked up, so for Occupy Thrones, if they do want to catch someone out, they gotta make sure that they see this item first, because you're gonna have to... You have to invest a little bit more into that. Yep, Red Wolf made a going in. Zoning out, Maro away, but the cake will be there. Try to sell some Look at how thank you Maro is, but it's gonna be the peel coming in, but Maro is still alive though. Nowhere for Maro to run, finally. The squirrel jump, and he has to fall on the ground someday. Close call. If only this was maybe two or three minutes into the game more, then maybe Gado would have gotten a kill or two. But at least, at least they're just trading Maro. Maro's more than happy to be of service to his squad this way and eventually get them to the late game where they're more comfortable. Something I want to talk about. 
Mm -hmm. Saigen is owning mid. Saigen, the fact that he hasn't really left this lane as much, is at least keeping Arakiokira in a small lead. Again, that's 1,000 gold. Mm -hmm. But King, oh, Maro scouts out King for now, but it's going to be the turtle that's already spawned. Fucking Fire Thrones currently working up for Boba for now. Maro is going to engage in and jumping out, but Takashi going in the back line. The Bravest Warrior activating on first, every 7 and 12, but it's very, it's very, it's very responding with the Bravest Warrior. And now they have to run away. The Shark Hill going in, finding Lewis, but he has to bike out. First, every 7 is Duke on the run as well, just biking out, chucking it out. No, coming back, taking the turtle away. Oh, bodies are falling, Luis for oh, Fury, no. and it's not it's done! It's not done yet! Occupy Thrones putting pressure on enemies' wounds and peeling it apart. If we see an instant replay, we can see how Occupy Thrones is actually isolating uh, people from RQ Akira because that's what we were talking about. You gotta find a way to isolate members of RQ Akira to make sure that Neo has optimized damage. Now, the way they do it is kind of weird because OK yeah. Shadow Kill to put everyone together, and once everyone is together, then they start isolating people. So, reverse order, but it still works out. It's isolation by. With, with more steps. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. How do you, it's like, you know, we come together and then we isolate and then we come together again. Occupy Thrones. I think the way that Marrow has been playing this Hilda is actually making so much sense. You know, opening up the map, everyone somehow is scared of the Hilda. With the way that Maro had stepped up, originally they had a different shot caller. It was their mid laner previously, Joke. But now it's Fury 77. Maro had to come into the leadership role mm -hmm. and here he's making all the difference. He shrank that gold lead previously about a thousand and change. Now, it's OT who's actually owning the map. And look at this, the main damage deal, Lunox as well as the Brody ha already having two core items. I would say if they want to fight, this is the time to fight because you got to engage the Brody before he gets his Blade of Despair. Once that is online, this is a very scary Brody. Lunox, just by having two items, right? Lightning Truncheon as well as the Clock of Destiny, you can already wreak havoc. And thinking of the possibilities, right? We really haven't seen the full potential of Gado just yet. He can even survive when King tries to dive him. But so far, Arky Okira have picked up on it. Hey, Occupy Thrones are owning more of the map. We should watch out. Tekash tries to engage, cancels it. Oh, no, Leo! It's so hard <laughs> to see Hayabusa just jumping in back and forth like that. Leo, super slick on this. This is the, the assassin that he's comfortable with. Maro gets slowed down by the E for now. Leo, oh, he actually catches Gustav Luka, but have to run away. Look at how much Gustav Luka starts. Look at this, it's very crazy, but Luis gets a kick. Oh, uh, Luis gets a kick for 77, actually ruining now the real world manipulation. I got the phone too, but it gets cancelled by Hog at the same time. Gone apart memory, not tearing people apart from the side of QI Thrones. It's gonna be Leo coming into the channel, kill all the way to the back. I can't look at no! the Jericho there to finish the king off. Hog will be there to say hi to Takashi. Backs off because Occupy Throne pick up a good kill. Look at the way Occupy Thrones is approaching the fight. Leo is the one engaging. He's giving the idea, I'm gonna use my Ogi Shadow Kill. And that forces the members of Arakiro Akira to actually move together. Up, Mero running away, running for the hills at the same time. He's super fast. Arakiro Akira cannot catch up. He is just zooming on throughout the map. He's been doing this since minute oh. one. And Fury 77 Real answers. Woman. Real one manipulation goes in again. Saiyan has to back off. Hmm. Something tells me Occupy Thrones needs to go a little faster. The fact that they took the Lord in under 10 seconds, they should just take advantage of the lead. And like I said, Lunox really just needs these two items and Leo really showing that he's training his brains off because he's not really committing. But he's making RQ Akira think, I could commit, but will I commit? And that's really ruining RQ Akira's in the way that they want to position themselves around the map. Yes, and that's what RRQ Akira has been doing so well. In the games that they win, it's their pace, it's their tempo, and Occupy Thrones, their off-kilter way of playing the gold laner and assassin roles are throwing them off, and they're starting with a quad shadow Qu into a shadow kill. Quad oh, shadow, shadow kill, gotta go all the way in back line as well, but he's gonna get chunked all the way in. Gonna be, oh no, is Gado still alive? Going in the burn as well, very 77, pick up a double kill at the same time. It's gonna be Occupy Thrones, cracking over the mid lane for now. It's gonna be in a secondary engage coming up from Leo. King coming in to try to make things work, but Hope, super tanky. Very 77, but look, look at Marrow. He's no! here with the ultimate, Hulk. Kings down the king! One, four, three. Say what you will about a gold laner being traded for three members, but they're converting out of their minds a top lane tier two plus a tier two in mid. Ladies and gentlemen, have you seen a support assassin? 
That is Leo right there. The Shadow Kill, more of like a fake engagement tool. And he is super sleek. Shadow Kill once again, all the way for dodging Takashi, but he will fall, unfortunately. But that is so much time being bought by Fight Thrones. Ladies and gentlemen, have you seen a better example of a caster curse? <laughs> the moment he talks about a player, oh, this guy's good. Oh, he got sacrificed. Speaking of which, Luis gets a kick on tomorrow. Okay, not tomorrow, but where's the follow up coming out? King is actually jumping around. He's have to go in with the ultimate, but it doesn't connect. Occupy Thrones know they're one member down. They have to disengage. Look at that fat wave. That Occupy Thrones have left down bottom. Gusta the Gusta needs to clean some house. So again, at least we're seeing some effects of Occupy Thrones. I'd rather say exotic tempo, right? It's throwing RQ Akira off their own pace, and that's what explains this 4K, maybe 3.5K gold lead at 12 minutes. Here's the thing, you gotta make sure your opponent doesn't know your next move. Speaking of which, oh. another move that's happening! It's gonna be a disaster happening in the main lane! Marrow is definitely trying to run away, take a good with one manipulation, Gado! Whoa! Get artillery strike from the sky! Two members from the side of Occupy Thrones has gone down in a very unfortunate moment. Two for none. RRQ Akira are shrinking this gold lead and this Lord is looking dangerous. It's luminous. Yeah, right now, Lewis is really saying the devil is like, okay, you know what? Enough of this. If I see absolutely any of you, I'm gonna catch you off guard and my team is gonna follow up. A concealed play is happening. Is anyone gonna get sacrificed? Oh, Lord, at less than half health. Luis's eyes on Maro. Hulk nope. not even gonna get any closer. King is gonna retribution that Lord to Oblivion, and RQ Akira back in this game. Yes, RQ Akira definitely will be regaining a lot more control, a lot more goal momentum as well. But hold on a second, Hulk. Oh, King, he gets terrified as well, but he's to be able to dash out alive. But for instance, they say, no, I'm gonna pull you down with a flicker for skill. Any other team would have waited for the rest of their members to come on and then made a plan, but not Occupy Thrones. I gotta say, looking at both these teams right now, I think they're playing with motion. They're not really like, all right, this is the strategy. It's like, no, no. <laughs> me angry, me fight. <laughs> me kill. <laughs> me me kill. Me Hulk. Just yes. literally what Occupy Thrones doing right now. Leo going in. I don't know what he can do against Gusta La Gusta, though. Wind of Nature will be activated by now, but will go into nothing oh. but Occupy Thrones. Oh! oh. Tears the Hayabusa up! <laughs> me find Brody! <laughs> <laughs> me kill! That's how Sigurd Dimension right now Occupy Throws has evolved into, but it's gonna be Argue Kira gaining control. This game has devolved into something very crazy. Yep, this is uh, going to be a difficult defense for Occupy Thrones now that Argue Kira has regained part of the map. They have a very small lead. Vision though, mm -hmm. Occupy Thrones knows a little bit more. Oh, successful Lord defense, but wait! Mm -hmm. Lewis is kicking for his 7 saying right to the real one manipulation. Just buying some time, Takashi just slashing down Occupy Thrones. Maro will be the victim, and now it's gonna be Takashi just buying some time to try to push down, using the minions, trying to land on some turret damage, but Occupy Thrones successfully defends for now. I gotta give it over to Leo, not Occupy Thrones Leo, Caster Leo, because <laughs> you called it out. Occupy Thrones, they should have fought a little bit faster because now RQ Akira, they got the tempo back on their own field based oh, wow. off Lewis saying, guys, I had enough, let's go. Yeah, oh. of course, the real one, Malaysia and Gerdo is out of the fight for now. He has to go back and reset. Look at how taking half HP. Leo, what are you doing? Right into the Shadow Kill, but he's actually doing something well. Maybe I push RQ Akira all the way back, but the stun coming in. The Wind of Nature activated the hand. Misses Gusta La Gusta. He likes it as Fury 77 replays with a revenge. One for one. Both key members Maro. of both Maro. squads. No. Luis gonna make it home safely. Maro still looking for bodies again. It's that savage, that instinctive, <laughs> that very intrinsic way of playing Mobile Legends still on display here in this 15, 16 minute bout. Let's take a look at the items. Here's the thing. I thought the Brody had a blade of despair. He's like, no, I totally have way, way, than, way more than enough damage because now he has the Demon Hunter sword, so he has extra, extra attack speed. So if anyone wants to tank, they're, they can try. They legit can try, but they won't be able to get away with it. Looking at the itemization, he has the answer towards the Lunox. He has the answer towards the Hayabusa. So it's counterintuitive, but maybe don't go for the Brody first. 
take members one by one, leaving him alone, and then go for it. Mm -hmm. And that's way too many decisions, I believe, for Occupy Thrones to make right now, given the sudden clapback that Araki Okira put on the board. Permanent damage to their mid, to their top, and now they force an ult from Gado. Oh, that may be big. Oh, and now my Gado God. will get kicked right into real woman. Basically, look at Leo in the background. Look at Lucas. That could be the win of Legend of the Ring Time. Leo to chase, but because Lucas has proven super slick as well. And now Leo is the one that has to come from the hills. It's going to be the assassin on the run right here, the king. But oh, Leo, who is it going? I don't know where, but it's going to be the win. It's the win. It's the win. It's coming out from Ark. Akira and Occupy Thrones have to go back and try to defend, but no, Akira is showing them they want to make sure that Occupy Thrones doesn't go back for the fight. Oh no, those minions are getting cleared though, the fight is still <laughs> continuing. Hulk's still alive, torn up our memory, taking down the Frederin. Taking down the Frederin as well, for the 7 7 we spawn just in time. It's going to be three members, Sega doesn't really have the ultimate as well, so he is going to be cleared up by Furry 7 7 That is an emergency situation. You know what? This game just got turned out to be so much fun. Gato 0, 3, and 4. He's looking for his moment. He's looking for that opportunity. But because he's looking for that opportunity, Luis sees him first and be like, you can go into Brilliance. I can still catch you, dude. <laughs> That's why they call him the Brazilian heartbreaker, right? Like, you want to do something and you're so sure you can, but Luis just says, no, not on my watch. Let's take a look at this Lord. It is indeed evolved, ladies and gentlemen, so it has that extra ability. It can help clear waves, hurt opponents on the defense, all the worse. And again, at least, at least Occupy Thrones, they have model here in this pixel brush. I wonder how can they find a catch? So much boost control here from the side of RQ. Occupy Thrones, they do have some form of boost control, but Leo is super ballsy right here. Trying to look for some any form of person to shadow kill as well. But Occupy Thrones has a very wide open base. They have to stem that bleed for now. RQ Brazil will start that Lord. In this fight, look at Luis. He's looking for it. He's looking for Gado. He's looking for Leo. He's dictating the fight. If no one touches Gado in this up and coming fight, it could be all occupied drones. If Luis catches him, that's gonna be trouble. Oh, Astro Thunder not letting go. Oh, finally the Lord gets reset. But look at this, the Y Bush to the east. Huge presence from Occupy Thrones there. Oh, Araki Okira gonna come in, conceal play. He's looking for a conceal play as well. Hog will be the victim for now. It's gonna all the members of the RQ Wolf climbers in it. But Furry 77 is essentially running run. Hog trying to buy some time, but not enough. He's gonna be Furry 77 jumping on the way in. Second has to run for now. Meryl does have the king, but King, the king, is actually trying to dish a dash. Because the Lucas is finally trying to fight right now. Just an odd damage. RQ Brazil definitely carrying. And then there was slain on Furry 77 and Gado at the same time. There is no way for Maro to follow up. Two for none so far, and Araki Okira happy with the results. No free lord for neither squad. They both have to reset. 2k gold lead for the boys from Brazil. Small mistake by Gado just now. But hold on, this could be a bigger mistake by oh. King. He went inside a 1v2. As time goes by, the amount of mistakes that you'll start to make will escalate. Takashi already using the ultimate right now, but it's going to be Leo. Oh no, he can call on Gusta Lugusta. He is here. The real one manipulation, the wind, the Trojan going in. The quad shadows, not enough. Too much to expect Leo to survive that. That's basically all the surviving members of Araki Wakira looking for revenge for their fallen jungler. Now, as quickly, they turn to the Lord. Okay, here's the thing, Occupy Thrones. You got two members going up against four. <laughs> How ballsy are you to go in? Because right now, Luis is going for Maro. Looks like they're abandoning the Deloitte. They're going for a fight. They're going for the fight as well. Gotta going in all the way into the brilliance. We'll start this out. Hulk is actually going in as well. Gets slowed infinitely. Real one man division going in for his seven seven. Holding on to the ultimate of the Lapu Lapu. Instead, Occupy Thrones. This Lord fight has gone on way too long. Numbers don't lie. We said it before the game even started. RQ Akira, if they see Lord, if they see members of the opponent team, we're going for the opponent team. We like fight a little bit more. But right now, they're securing the Lord for themselves. Oh, yeah. Nowhere, no way Occupy Trust can get it. King secures it. Yes. Jace, this is what they call a Lord dance. All oh right? This happens about four or five times per game in a Filipino match in the MPL. And I have to say, Araki Wakira have done so well to orchestrate it, and Occupy Thrones did their best to respond. And that's why it lasted so long. We were originally looking at an 18-minute Lord. Now it's tailed up. It's a 21-minute Lord marching down mid. 
This is very scary for occupied drones because now there is almost no way for you to isolate anyone. Lori comes in. Lewis oh. tries to find someone. Oh, Hulk in the middle of the thing of the damage as well. Second, we'll start with the real one. Manipulation of Furry. Seven Seven doesn't really have the ultimate to work with. The Lord is already shrunking down on the Occupy Throne's core. Marrow is definitely by his eyes on time, but argue but still focus down the roof of Occupy Thrones. And now there's one member down as well. Occupy Thrones buy some precious time, but for how long? Oh, they cleared the minion wave. King brought Leo. one through the bottom. Oh. Leo very low. Leo very low. Second like will be there to clean it up. It's now going to be a 3v5 in the favor of Argue. Guess well, Lewis will actually fall down and sacrifice at the same time. Hulk is absorbing so much damage, but he will not be there for long. Sega going into real one manipulation at the same time, but Gustav Lucas are going in for the crazy, crazy place. Go ahead. Nothing left for Occupy Thrones. May have taken a while longer, but Araku Akira have found a way. They're sending the MPL Mina champions home tonight. GG well played, and thank you to Occupy Thrones, but Araku Akira moves on to the next round. Saying they did well is an understatement. They understand what was going on, and then they, with the experience that they have, they know how to fight against it. They know how to fight against Occupied Thrones, and even though Occupied Thrones has been eliminated, I gotta say good sportsmanship because smiles are all around. Just let it soak in, ladies and gents. Occupied Thrones, I think they outdid themselves. Maro on the other hand, causing so much havoc. This is an unconventional game of Mobile Legends Bang Bang, but truth to be told, RQ, Akira, Skew reigns supreme. Well, unconventional.